Polly here. I'm really sorry that I haven't been making videos for a long time, but I really want to start making them again. I hope to aim for one video every two weeks. I might do a few more than that, but that's what I want to try and aim for. I have loads of new ideas of content that I want to make, and I want to do some more arty videos, so maybe some more paints, paintings, um, maybe um, art supply reviews, I might even try some, a couple of art challenges. So today I am going to be making this clock. This is a clock from Ikea which cost me £1.50 which I think is a really good deal anyway but it did just have a boring face on it. So to start off you obviously want to take your clock out of its packaging. Once you've done that we now need to remove the glass. To do this you need to turn it upside down and you'll be able to see three little tabs sticking out. You'll need to use something which you can then use to push these tabs in. You kind of want to push it inwards and upwards. This will then allow you to easily remove the glass. Once you've removed the glass, you can now also remove the clock hands. Clock hands are very easy to remove. You just need to pull them upwards and they'll easily come off. Now you need to remove the plain face of the clock. To do this, I made a little cut with my craft knife and then I gently peeled it off. You need to be really careful when doing this as you don't want to make any more rips in it. This is because we want to trace round it. Now we can move on to tracing round our clock face. So I've just put it on this piece of paper and I'm tracing round all of it. Around the bit where I'm cut, I'm kind of having to guess where it should join up. But it's such a small cut, it should be relatively easy to do. Now I'm also making a note of where each hour is. Um, you want to do this so you can easily draw it on your clock, so you'll be able to tell the time. If you want to, you can also do each individual minute, but you don't have to. Remember to also do the circle in the middle, as we'll need to cut that out later. So now you want to join each line up with the ruler. We're going to do this so we know where to put each number, and so we can um, separate each colour section out for our colour wheel design. Once you've done that, now you want to take a pair of scissors and cut the circle out. To make the hole in the back, I took a piece of blue tack and stuck it where the hole would be on the opposite side, the side which you haven't yet drawn on. To do this, I then took a pencil and I punched it through the hole a couple of times. Then you want to take a pair of small scissors and clean up the excess um, paper around the hole. Now I'm just plotting out where I want each number to go. Once I did this, I then went over them and made them into a kind of more bubble um, style kind of font. Obviously you can make whatever kind of design you'd like and it's up to you, but this is the style I decided that I wanted to go with. I then decided I was going to add in different shapes, so I did stars, flowers, triangles, squares and hearts. And then I did the opposite design on the opposite um, slice of the clock if that makes sense. So if I did circles on one side I would then do it on the other side of the clock. Once you've done that you want to go over it with a fine liner pen. color my clock face in I decided I was going to use Copit markers. As it's going to be a color wheel design I am going to copy a color wheel in the way I'm going to color it and then the shapes will be the complementary color of the color. As you can see the hearts um, on one side are yellow and then on the other they're purple. I then repeated this with every single color gradually changing the color so I went from yellow to orange to a darker orange and so on. Obviously if you wanted to you could experiment with maybe just using two colours or using more pastel colours or some even darker colours. it 
off, I took a black marker and coloured in the numbers. I then also went over with a white gel pen um, and added a bit of shading to the numbers. So now you're ready to put your clock face into the actual clock. Once you've done that, you can also attach the hands back onto the clock face. Remember that you need to put the minute hand first, then the hour, and then the seconds. If you do it the other way, it won't fit correctly and you may end up breaking your clock. For using the dial at the back, adjust the clock hands to the correct time. Make sure to put a battery in it as well, otherwise your clock won't work at all. Now we're almost done and all that's left to do is to reattach the glass to the clock face. Make sure the clasps are lined up with the holes. You also have to be very careful not to break the plastic whilst pushing it back into the clock face. Make sure it's fully pushed down and that the clasps are correctly secured into the holes. So here we have it, the finished clock. I'm really happy with how it came out and I think it will look great on the wall. Um, it's bright and colourful and maybe it just adds a bit of colour to a pl otherwise plain wall. So I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please subscribe if you did to make sure you know when my next videos are coming out and click the bell. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!